Now, earlier, for those who probably don't know, we was playing Earth, Wind, and Fire, <clears throat> That's the Way of the World. And I was just going to start it off basically saying, the funny thing is, hip-hop started in our generation. And the way the effect I see on hip-hop is, we had these songs that we listened to, like Earth, Wind, and Fire, Marvin Gaye, you know, uh, you could say just numerous songs. Marvin Gaye, we can go to The Whispers, we can go to The Temptations, and everything had substance. You know, it was all a meaningful music, all meaningful songs. And we grew up listening to our parents' music. And our parents' music, as they jamming in the house, we always bopping our head. And then when the Rap of Delight come out in the, you know, late 70s, and then we had the message and all that, we was like, you know, just amazed with these dudes saying lyrics over music, you know. Boom, 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 boom. So we started playing with it, and we started break dances. Everything we saw for everything, through like they break dance and we started break dance. They doing graffiti, we started doing graffiti. I remember when Run DMC said, "My Adidas," I had some Adidas. They didn't have no shoestring in them. I ain't had no shoestring in them. LL Kango, I wore Kangos. Everything we saw in hip hop, we was wanted to emulate and be just like. Everything they was rapping, I'm rapping songs. They rapping hard, I'm rapping hard. You know, everything we all the neighborhoods we go on the corner, dudes beat bops and we rapping. We walking around with boom bops. We walking around with prumas. We walking around with adidas we walking around with gazelles we walking around with name belts we doing everything with bombers you know jackets and all this everything hip-hop was doing we were seeing in the flex and all across america we was emulating we was doing it we was we was we was like part of the hip-hop movement we had to be it we had to go out here and write songs listening to ll listening to rock kim listening to big daddy kane listening to biz Marky, listening to mc light listening to sweet t listening to all these great mcs you know what i'm saying even go back further the dr jekyll and mr hyde you go back and listen to kumo d back in the day you listen to dougie fresh you listen to slick rick all these great mcs we were listening to but when we start to think about it what started the movement, because we were listening to the music they was using. The music they was using were going back to the old school, to the James Browns and music and all these other samples we was using. The funny thing when I look at hip hop today, and I don't mean to be funny, we had a southern style of hip hop. We had a flow style of hip hop, even though we was bringing our street charisma and street life to it. But when I started looking at kids that was born from 89 on down, you know what I'm saying? When people say, even when you ask half of these artists, of Big Daddy Kane, who's your great, who was the greatest artist you love? They were hollering stuff like Michael Jackson. We would holler all the Hurry and the Blue Notes. We would holler Teddy Pentagraph. We would holler all this, but we would give homage to the old MCs, Cool Herc and all them that started Grandmaster Flash. But when you get to these kids now, who is your greatest who, uh, music person inspired you? Raw, uh, they won't say Rock him. They going to holler somebody like Biggie or Tupac or MWA. So now when I reflect and look at hip hop, I'm looking at the kids. Because each one of y'all think about it. When music came out, we won't holler and rock him at start. We were hollering, oh, I like Michael Jackson. Oh, I like such and such. Oh, I like such and such. But these kids that ain't never really heard Michael, they grew up into the Biggie lyrics. They grew up into NWA, F the police. They grew up into all this killing. They grew up into these drugs. So when you ask these kids who their greatest artists and what they got to listen to, because see, when we were little, seven and eight, we didn't listen to this type of music. But these kids, that's all they heard. Fuck the police. They All they heard is, me and my, you know, Biggie, Tupac, who were all this crazy stuff we heard these kids. So now you take a kid that's one years old and the dad smoking weed in the car and the kid growing up, from one years old, listening to all these hardcore lyrics. How you think this music gonna affect these kids when they grow up? Call they hearing about is weed smoking, dogging mm -hmm. women, and gun blasting. So now, to me, I'm starting it off right kind of different. But to me, hip hop was good and hip hop has been bad because a generation of hip hop has changed about everybody selling dope, everybody toting guns, and everybody killing. It wasn't about hip hop like in the 80s. Hip hop in the 80s were open. Today, everybody on the same flow. 
And the hip hop to me has influenced these little kids. Cause now when I think about hip hop, I look at these kids and I'm like, how old are you, man? 18. And I ask them, what you been listening to all your life? Man, I listen to Pop, I listen to Big, I listen to Biggie, I listen to this, I listen to Young Jeezy. And I'm like, and I go back and listen to think about everything these kids growing up listening to in their mind. The hard lyrics of murder. The hard lyrics of going out here again high and selling dope. The hard lyrics of dogging our young daughters, making them hoes. And if these are the role models these girls got to be, they straight up want to be strippers now.